take this to Elias Abujande, your, your opponent saying that, that, again, that you can really learn things in two hours in a game that really do tell you things about the real world, which, which to me seems to be walking right into your argument that that's confusing reality in a game. Right. I mean, I, I, again, the more lifelike games are, the easier it is to confuse them with reality. I think it's wonderful that there are certain applications that can be pro peace, but I think a lot more people go online in general and go to video games in particular to play games that are more violent, more aggressive in nature. Uh, and there's intriguing evidence uh, now that uh, aggression and violence in video games can potentially lead to future offline aggression. I want to come back Some to, data to, to that, that observation, but, I, but, but in passing, are you conceding uh, Asi's point that, there are, that it's possible to create a world where the games are all good and teaching positive things? Because that's kind of their core argument. I, I would contest that games can be predominantly peaceful and predominantly encourage Why? the more positive aspects of society and of our personality. Uh, and the reason for that is our experience with the internet in general. Uh, the anonymity of the experience, the lack of any structural hierarchy and accountability makes it uh, the perfect medium for us to express uh, less positive aspects of personality. So is your experience that people are lining up to play a game to make peace? Much more. Or do you, do you have to kind of so, so much trick more. them into playing? No, no, much more. I mean, the interesting thing is that 10 years ago, when I needed to fight that fight for video games for social cause, it was a very, very tough fight. You know, when I, we introduced the idea of Peacemaker to the faculty at Carnegie Mellon so they could support us, it was a nutty idea, right? Completely crazy. Today, I mean, People that treat like me that really make games and play games and look at the market, it's not true that most games are violent. It's just not true. I mean, with the with the uh, expansion of mobile games and Facebook games, there are so many games that are about building environments. Look at Minecraft, one of the biggest successes in video games in recent history. It's a game about building blocks. It's a game about building creative worlds and environments. 